This video is going to teach you how to make personalized yard art. Today, we're going to celebrate Godzilla's birthday. Start out with a sheet of plywood. Primer both sides. Apply a coat of paint the same color as your house. While your paint is drying, let's head on over to the internet. While you're perusing the various pictures that you're going to make your centerpiece, keep two things in mind. The complexity of the picture you're going to use, as well as your artistic talent. I figured this picture would probably max me out on talent, so we'll use it. Now, we need to change this picture into a 3 foot tall template. To do this, I use a program called Microsoft Paint. Click on the link at the bottom of the screen to see another video I created that will give you step by step instructions on how to do this. Once your template's complete, set it aside, we'll use it later. Now, we need to add some words to our message. You can buy pre-made letters, but that's boring. You can use Microsoft Paint to make your own lettering. To see how, click on my link above. Or if you're really lucky, you can have a nifty little machine called a Cricut. Cricuts accept software modules like this, and they have literally thousands of designs that you can print out. The way it works is you mount a piece of paper on the work platform, feed it into the Cricut and program it, then the cutting heads get to work, cutting out what you programmed. When the machine's done doing its work, you peel off the excess paper. Now, scrape the letters off the work platform. Arrange the letters on your project, then staple them in place temporarily. Now, grab a Sharpie pen. Trace around each letter to transfer the design to your project. Don't let the cat distract you. Go ahead and remove the paper letters from your project. You're done with them. OK. Now it's time to transfer our template to our project. This minor miracle can be performed with very large sheets of carbon paper. Lay them out carbon side down. Slide your template on top of the paper. Position it where you want it and attach it with staples. And start tracing. Ostensibly, the easy part of this job is tracing the outside of the pattern. It requires no talent, just a steady hand. But where the artist in you has to shine through is figuring out which parts of the inside of your design you want to actually transfer over to your project. It's the moment of truth, everything you've worked up to. Remove your template. Then remove the carbon paper. And here we go. It's faint, but you can actually see it. What you're seeing here is a very thin trace of carbon. It's easily smeared. Go ahead and grab a Sharpie and enhance those carbon lines. It'll make painting much easier. Speaking of painting, let's get to it. For this project, I decided to go with the simplest method possible, the black and white silhouette. Godzilla will be painted black, and white will be used to give him contrast and bring out the details. Ho-hum, this is so fun. But hang in there, it's worth it in the end. Let's go ahead and speed things up just a little bit. After you're finished applying the black, use the same color white as your background and touch up your silhouette enhancements. For a more professional looking project, let's round off these square corners. We learned how to do this back in elementary school geometry class. We're going to use a compass, a device for drawing circles. By drawing four circles, we can perfectly place a line tangential to the sides of this project every single time. Let's take a closer look at how we did that. Our first circle of center point will be right here. The next circle center point is here. The next circle center point is here. And now we have enough information to bisect this angle directly down the center. Where all these uh, lines intersect is where you're going to place your final circle center point. Let's clean it up and see what you get. Your jigsaw will make short work of that pesky corner. Now we're going to draw an accent line all the way around our project. Set your adjustable carpenter square to one half inch and draw a line all the way around your project. Paint it black. This will really make it stand out when you mount it up on your house. And there you go. One happy birthday Godzilla. November 4th, 1954. And while you're at it, think about making some plastic Godzillas for your metal garage door. And of course your Godzilla flag to fly on your flagpole. 
Well, thanks for watching.